Hi guys, good morning. It is Sunday morning and starting the vlog out because I need to have a vlog. Um, so first off, I want to start by unbagging this piece from Fabletics. I am gonna take the picture today. I think my friend and I are gonna go to Celebration because like she's never been there and she said she had been wanting to go so I can just like take her around and show her. Um, so that'll be fun. Also, I love going places when I need to take photos because then, number one, I already know what I'm gonna wear because I'm just gonna wear this outfit. Oh my gosh, this looks so freaking cute. And it's a little cold here in Florida, so I think this will be good because it's like pants. <laughs> Ooh, it's the pink color of those pants. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy because the other pair of pants that I have, um, I keep getting stuff on them, like food and everything, so I can't really like wear them out. They have like a couple marks on them. So I have this pair, so good because these are so soft, guys. And then there's like a little matching top that goes with it. This is definitely like loungewear and I am kind of living for it because I love comfy clothes. Honestly too, like I'm probably going to end up wearing some of this to the office because I want to and we don't have like a strict dress code. So anyway, this is what the top looks like. How cute. You can like tighten the sides here. Oh my gosh. So you can like just pull these and cinch it in. Definitely gonna wear this today and I think it'll be warm cause like we're gonna probably be in the sun like walking around. I'm gonna take my computer to edit a vlog and everything. So I just wanted to unbag that because I like unbagging it on camera. So I've been saving that. I think I'm gonna shower now and I'm kind of tired. So yesterday I worked and that was a uh, pretty fun because it was like for a hospital but yeah so I like worked all day and then like my friend had her husband's like birthday party so like I went there um I didn't like vlog any or do anything to get like footage because like again I don't know it's just like kind of awkward in like those situations <laughs> like party situations I guess like especially when like not a lot of people well like some of the people like didn't know I did YouTube and stuff. So I don't know. I just like obviously didn't get footage and I was like really tired. So I didn't want to like really do anything. I just wanted to go have a good time and then come home. And that's what I did. So it's kind of like catching you guys up. I already have two videos um, pre-filmed and like ready to go edited and uploaded and scheduled so that's good and I just need the third one to finish up the third one today that was on my to-do list and my friend was like oh I have some work to do so I'm gonna bring my laptop and I'm like oh that's perfect because like I have stuff to do too um so it just worked out yeah so I'm gonna edit that today and then we'll be all good for this next week's round of videos kind of tired because my schedule is all weird on Tuesday I went to the pool and just like took a nothing day and it was so nice to do that um, because I worked on Saturday, I got Tuesday off, so, so good. But anyway, um, this clip's getting long, I know. Um, so let's move on with the video. Okay, so we made it to downtown celebration and of course I'm like late. Oh, sucks, but it's fine. I think Marika's fine because she had some work to do anyway, so it kind of worked out, I guess, um, but I'm starving this time change is no joke and yeah like I don't know man but we're gonna meet at Starbucks glad I found a parking spot because right now the um, the farmers market is happening so I forgot how busy it gets and uh, parking is kind of crazy so it's a beautiful day I'm so happy that we decided to do something because it's just really nice out we made it, Marika's here. We're getting sushi at um, Amorimoto. No, this is Amorimoto, Ari? this is Ari, yes. Okay. I'm thinking we're in like Disney Springs. <laughs> we're not in Disney Springs, we're in Celebration. Okay, so I got the garden salad. The salad's so good. The dressing is to die for. It's my favorite thing here. And then Marika got some edamame. I love edamame, so I'm gonna have one and try one. Okay, sorry for the weird angle, but I'm gonna try one. And we just placed our order, so I got a California roll. I got the garden. 
where you could got the garden. <laughs> mm, it's really good. You just got the um, salted ones. Mm. So good. We got the food. I got a California roll, and Monica got this is the garden roll, right? Yeah. Yeah. I had this, and it's so good. I think she'll really like it. So I got pictures in my outfit. I took Marika on the celebration tour. Um, we got our water bottles, and now we're just kind of like gonna do work. Like I have a video to edit, and she has some work. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, but yeah, I think did I cover everything? Yes. Okay. Literally everything. So <laughs> we're just gonna do some fun computer stuff. Okay, so I'm headed home now, and Valerie's cooking dinner tonight, so I will vlog that a little bit. She's just making beef stroganoff. I just have buttered noodles, so that's what we're having for dinner. I got my video done, because we were being a little bit productive, like, Marika still had, like, some work to do, because she's really busy with her job and everything, so we did that and I needed to vlog anyway so I mean I need to edit anyway so it was good that she suggested that because I'm like I love hanging out with friends but like when I do have stuff to do it's like a little bit harder so yeah it was like productive and we got to like chill out I love showing people celebration it's so fun to do and I think she really enjoyed it her boyfriend came to pick her up and then she wanted to show him around as well so um, she was gonna like um, just like direct him like tell him where to go um, to show him the area because they live like in an area very similar to celebration like the same developers like made it so where they are located is like a miniature version of celebration which is pretty cool her boyfriend was like oh this is really nice and it really does look exactly like basically where they live so that was cool and I think she enjoyed her time which is nice and obviously like I enjoyed mine it was so funny because her boyfriend was gonna get there around six to pick her up and I was like counting down because I was uploading my video to YouTube and it just so happened that like the countdown was like near six so she literally was thinking that like I was counting down until Max got there she was like oh I thought you're counting down until like my boyfriend got here and I was like no I'm just counting down until the YouTube videos uploaded so I'm like no I don't want you that much like to be counting down like when you're gonna be leaving so that was really funny one eternity later to continue the vlog, because I know it's probably pretty short, um, I'm just wearing this outfit for Cycle Bar. I actually really like this outfit just for like a normal outfit. I mean, it's pretty cute. But um, I just have my Define jacket on and my mint green um, energy long line bra. And I call these my nurse's shoes. They're just like the white slip on Keds that are too big for me, but I don't know, I'm just wearing them anyway. And then I have on my little biker shorts. So that is today's outfit um, for Cycle Bar. I decided to go because um, we're celebrating my mom's birthday, Sherry. I'm only gonna get to go three times, so this will be like four. So I can like, you know, kind of get my money's worth. Uh, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing and I don't know what we're gonna do the rest of the day. I kind of want to relax, but also I want to edit a video because like I know I'll be busy and stuff, so I don't know what we're gonna do. Let's see where the day takes us. Made it to Cycle Bar, and I gotta fill up my water bottle because I forgot to do that last night. I thought I would show you guys the merch because this is Hamlin's location. They have a different selection, kind of. I love this, and I love those. Those are super cute. Okay, so I'm super hot, super sweaty. I think I'm gonna go get Starbucks, because why not? I normally always do that. I think. I maybe start riding at Hamlin more often. I'm not sure. Um, I want to because it's really close to my house. Like I can literally leave like exactly 30 minutes before the class. Well, maybe like 35 and like get here and then ride. I don't have to leave like almost an hour because I don't know about traffic, but I do have to pay like two tolls to get here. So like, it, again, it's like a compromise like time is money like if I want to leave later like I'm just gonna have to pay for it which is fine sorry about the lighting it's crazy I'm just contemplating like today was really good it just worked out I'm so tired um, but I think I'm gonna get Starbucks relax chill and then when I head home 
I want to go to like Ulta or Sephora. There's like two by my house um, because I want to look for these lip products that Sierra shared. I love her like makeup stuff. Like, I don't know. I like the way she does her makeup. So that's why I got all my like suggestions like from her and like it's makeup that I can like feel comfortable in. Like it's not really, really uncomfortable, even though I always feel like I'm uncomfortable with like makeup and stuff, but it's like less uncomfortable if you know what I mean. I know that there's a lip pencil and then I'm gonna get like this like plumping lip things. Not that I need it but it's just like lip gloss I think. I want to get that to try it and see if I like it. I don't know I'll just like review her video and see like if there's any other products I want to try. Um, I like my foundation and powder so I probably won't get that but I really do need another eyeshadow palette and then she shared like two that would actually fit in my makeup bag so that's a plus um, because I always have to carry my makeup palette like separate well it fits but just barely so I have to like squeeze it in there um, so I'm gonna see if I can find like one of the makeup palettes she shared eyeshadow palettes um, she shared so I can like pack it plus my naked two palette like the basics I've had that since 2015 so I think like I should get some updated ones like again they're just gonna be like nude natural whatever that is what I'm gonna do after Starbucks I think to you know add some spice to the video and yeah I can't even really think but it'll add some more content and spice to this video also too I need to like get some updated stuff so It'll be beneficial all around. Okay, so I got my beverage. I got a grande iced vanilla latte with um, almond milk. I don't know. I haven't had it in a while, and I just wanted to get it because it's a really good drink as well. And I always get my other like vanilla sweet cream cold brew with caramel drizzle. So I wanted to change it up. So I got this one. Made it to Ulta, and hopefully they have the stuff. If not, we have a Sephora not too far from here, so I might try that. Yeah, let's hope they have some stuff. First, I gotta throw away this because we don't like trash. <laughs> okay, so I'm missing a lot of products and I didn't realize that of course Sierra would pick like the more expensive makeup store. So like, oh my gosh, guys, like I have to go to Sephora. Luckily, they build a new one like right next door, not literally, but like two minutes away. But I'm missing all the Charlotte Tilbury, the Hope and Happy Rare Beauty, like all these people in Makeup by Mario, they're all at Sephora. So I only got two things. Um, the brow pencil, which I already have, but I, again, it was from when I met Aspen Ovard and I don't even know, 2016, yeah. That was 2016, so I definitely needed a new one. And then the Anastasia brow gel, cause I think I'm gonna do that like comb up your eyebrow thing because everyone else is doing it and I don't know like what I'm doing. So might as well just be on trend with what everyone else is doing cause it's easy. So I got those two things and oh my gosh, like why is it so expensive? Luckily I don't do mascara or eyeliner cause that would be like another $50. Um, probably but like I don't do that because I just don't like the way it looks on my face like it's just not my vision I don't I don't think it enhances me I don't like it so I don't do that but I do like just other natural face makeup wow I'm a little shocked but um, we're gonna go to Sephora hopefully fingers crossed they have stuff I want to get this stuff too to like try out and like just see how it looks on me cuz why not and I want it to wear for my mom's like little birthday trip. So that's why I'm just doing this today. And yeah, so let's see. Oh man, I have to go to the bathroom. That sucks. Okay, so that Sephora didn't have like a lot, but I'll show you guys what I got. I got these little makeup remover wipes. I want to keep these in my bag actually because um, I sometimes forget makeup remover wipes and I will want those if I'm like at a friend's house or just like, I don't know, I go on a trip with my parents and like I don't have anything to like take off my makeup. I got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, which is gonna probably be easier to fit in my makeup bag. And then I got the Luxury Palette, like the four eyeshadows, cause I want another eyeshadow palette. And then I got the Charlotte Tilbury pencil. I have the one that's like really popular, the Pillow Talk, but this is 
um, an iconic nude and I really like how this looked. It's like more toned down, like it's a darker shade. But they didn't have the Limp Pumping Serum that I really want, so I'm going to go to the Sephora in Kohl's and there's one in JCPenney and just like, see, I feel like there's a lot of people that don't like think to look in those. I mean, maybe people look in those, like, I don't know. I wouldn't, because that's why like I just went directly to the store. So I'm gonna see, I mean, I'm not doing anything really today, so I have the time, so why not? If all else fails, like I have some fun new makeup products and I'm happy with them. It's just like, kind of annoying when stores don't have what you want, but it's fine, it's not the end of the world. And it saves me money in the long run, um, so I can't complain too much. Darn, makeup is so expensive. We are here at the Sephora in, whoa, this is actually really big. This is in Kohl's, so hopefully we'll have some luck here. Let's see. Guys, it was a sign. This is in Bear Glow, and it's the lip serum. Oh my gosh. Guys, look. Obviously, I'm getting this. This is like the only reason why I came here. I'm so happy right now. The plumping serum in Bear Glow. Guys, and they even have all of the quad palettes, which I'm so excited about because um, the other Sephora didn't have it, so definitely going to um, get some of these because, again, like I need more eyeshadow palettes, like neutral ones. So I knew coming here would be great because, like, who would think to come to Kohl's to get like these products? Like, I didn't. So, yay! I'm glad I looked online. So this makeup palette isn't the exact one she got, but it's really similar. It's bronzy glam. Um, it's just like full of like bronzy colors like naturals so i'm gonna get this because it's only 25 dollars. i was gonna get this bigger one and maybe i should but like i don't know there's no like sparkly colors and i like the sparkly colors and i already have like you know a nice shade for my eyes anyway because i have bronzer my hula bronzer so i think i'm just gonna get this um got almost all the products so i'm excited happy okay so I didn't end up getting the um, uh, eyeshadow palette just cause like I just got one and everything and they didn't have like the exact one. So I'm just like gonna hold off. I am gonna go to the one in JCPenney's because why not? Like I'm out and I'm actually really hungry but I'm just gonna stop there like on the way home and see if they have it. And yeah, cause it doesn't hurt and it's kind of fun kind of being on a mission so let's see if they have anything the blushes for the rare beauty for by selena gomez those have been like out everywhere so i don't really have any hope for that because you know like if they're sold out they're sold out whatever it doesn't really matter um i smelled them and honestly they smell kind of like cheap makeup and that's just in my opinion so like i don't know the scent is not very good which as you guys know like i'm very big on like scent and smelling good and everything so it's not like it doesn't break my heart that like i don't have the blush um i really my big goal was to get the lip serum because i wanted that for the nude lip um with the new because i love the way sierra's lips looked so that was like my biggest thing so i'm very happy that i got that i already feel like i won the challenge of like trying to find stuff so um this is just like for fun now just to see if the other store has it and yeah guys you're not gonna believe this i found the happy oh my gosh this is the last one, but this is the one I wanted because I like this shade the best. It's like rosy and pink. So that's why I was holding out hope. Oh my gosh, I found it and it was the last one. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. As you guys can kind of tell, I let my hair air dry just cause it's like healthier for it. Um, but I'm gonna show you everything I got. I'm gonna kind of like unbox it cause like I can't wait to see what I got. I mean like I've seen it, but I haven't like seen it, you know, so. First, we're gonna open up this, and this is the eyeshadow palette. And honestly, I opened this in the store just cause like I wanted to see the shades, but look at how pretty. I'm definitely gonna be using this. How cute. Um, these are the shades, and it's perfect because I can fit it in here, you know? So, love this. Next up, we have the powder. And this will also just be like a lot easier. Look how cute it is. 
I got the shade medium. This is just the pressed powder and it's perfect because as you guys can see like I love this powder and I will keep using it like especially when I get ready at home I will definitely use this but it's just so big like so for traveling and stuff um, it's just kind of big so I'm just gonna keep that pretty much like here when I am doing my makeup and stuff um, and then I can get it out you know when I'm here Next up, I got the Brow Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit in Cool Soft Black. I asked the lady like what I should get because there's different things. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a brow pencil. It's kind of self-explanatory, but we have this end, which is the little tiny, tiny like brow pencil. It's literally like a pencil, which is cool. And then this side is like the eyelash, not eyelash. I mean, it could be an eyelash curler, but not curler, but a brush. But it's mainly just to brush your eyebrows up. I think these are the directions. I'm actually going to look up tutorials on like how to do it. Because like I always like just mess up my brows. Like it's just so hard for me. I don't know why, but brows are just hard. So I'm definitely going to be kind of looking at this or just like looking up tutorials. The thing that I've been using is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil and it's really similar but it just looks like this. The pencil part just looks like that. It's a similar concept but it's just a little bit different. I've had this since I met Aspen that meetup time so I'm definitely throwing this away because I have this one now and I'm gonna like try to learn how to use it so this is garbage. Next up I got the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Pencil in Iconic Nude. And this is just so nice because of the shade. I love this shade. I think it'll look really good, really nice. It's a darker nude. So that is Iconic Nude. And I will show you guys the other one, which is Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk is a little bit like more pinky. So that's Pillow Talk, which I'm kind of like running out of. And then this is the Iconic Nude. I am excited to use that one. Next up we have the Anastasia brow gel and I've never really used like brow gel but since it's popular to like make your brows like stick up I don't know you just like brush your brows with this. Again don't really know but I wanted to try it just because why not. Next up I got this new blush and the blush I do use or the blush I have been using is the NARS Orgasm blush which I'm definitely still gonna keep because I like that and it works pretty well but I got this blush it's called happy and it's by the Selena Gomez brand rare beauty and I'm excited to use this because I've never really used like liquid stuff before like liquid blush or anything it smells kind of weird but you I won't be like smelling it or anything because it'll be on my cheeks but it's like a nice pinky color and I just like absolutely love it. I can't wait to try it and see how it works out. And then last but not least, this is my favorite and what I'm so excited to try it is the Makeup by Mario Lips and it's the Plumping Lip Serum. And you just do this and I don't know, does it like twist? I don't know how you use this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you like push it up and this is just what it looks like. I don't know if it's gonna focus, there we go. Um, you just put this on the lips and it goes really really well with the Charlotte Tilbury pencil So that's what Sierra did and I l absolutely loved her lips So that's why I decided to get this and try it out and see how I like it. Mmm Good. It smells good. So that's always a plus because oh no a hair or something got on there Anyway, that is going to be pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.